Hey guys, my name is iMac117 and today I will be looking at the new Doctor Strange uh, trailer. But it says trailer 4, so I don't know what's up there. And then another one said it was trailer 2, so I don't know what's going on there. But uh, let's check this out. Uh, I'll just have to, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I mean, it says IMAX, official IMAX trailer for 2016 Better Coverage Marvel movie. Okay, let's go. So anyway, so... Uh, Let's turn it up, shall we? And three, two, one. Now. You think you know how the world works? You think that this material universe is all there is? But what if I told you the reality you know is one of many? This doesn't make any sense. Not everything has to, Doctor Strange. Through the mystic arts, we harness energy and shape reality. The Avengers protect the world from physical dangers. We safeguard it against more mystical threats. Come with me. We'll die protecting this world, Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor, it's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? That looks cool. The more I see it, the, the trailers, the more excited I am for it. Um, I guess that's how it works though. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, they mentioned the Avengers, which was cool. Uh, apparently, actually, I heard something about this. I was learning this in a media class at school and they were talking about uh, white watching uh, white wa washing uh, we call it anyway it's when they like there's a character that specifically needs to be like an Asian or a black guy or something like that <clears throat> but then they change it to a white man Th that's what happens and I'm not on board with it I don't I don't think it's good like apparently in Doctor Strange the the master ma I forgot what her name is the girl you know the master type of thing I don't think it's mastermind but that might be someone else, but um, apparently uh, she's supposed to be uh, an Asian or something like that. Um, uh, tell me if I'm wrong there. I might be completely wrong, but that's what I heard. Uh, you never know. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure she'll do fine. It's not really a big deal to me. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. I mean, Marvel. Oh, voice break. <laughs> Shit. Um. I had something stuck in my throat, and then I was like, no! <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Marvel are so good at making you like these characters. Like, I wasn't a huge fan of Ant-Man. Then I saw the movie, and I liked him. I wasn't a huge fan of Thor. I saw the movies, and I liked it. A huge fan of Captain America. A huge, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Captain America. I saw the movies, and I liked it. Uh, Iron Man. I, I was always a fan of Iron Man. So, you know, Hulk, I, I knew who, everyone knew who Hulk was, and I was always a fan of him. But uh, Marvel is so good at making you like these characters. They're not very good at making you like the villains, though. I think the only good villains we've had in Marvel is Loki, Red Skull, and... That's it. That's really it. But, um... I mean, Ultron was just like, what the fuck. But, uh, yeah, it looks really good. I can't wait. I'll probably... Around the time that the movie come, uh, Like, when does it come out? November 4th. So... Around uh, sometime in October, I'll do a video called my top six favorite Marvel studio movies. So that will include Doctor Strange, uh, not Doctor Strange, Ant Man and Avengers and Captain America, Hulk, Thor, those type of movies. Like I won't include like uh, X Men or anything like that because that, I'll save that for another list when um I don't know when the next X Men movie comes out. And my phone just fucked. Through. Who's who's here? No one. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> just like I got bored of the video, I'm gonna go on my phone for a bit. No. I won't do it. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.